What's up guys, Jenny Streeby here, and this updo is for all you guys that say you can't do updos. This is called the side bubble updo, and we literally are gonna do some ponytails and use some hair elastics and some bobby pins, and that is it for this updo. Let's get started. Okay, so to prep Ashley's hair, what I went ahead and did is I added some curl to it using a one inch curl iron. So for this style, we're gonna section out the front for uh, last. So we're just gonna do a slight diagonal back behind the ear, and we're gonna clip that away for later. All right, we're gonna gather all the hair in the back now. So we're gonna divide it in three sections. And we're gonna do just three ponytails. So this is our first ponytail, and then we're gonna do another one kind of at a diagonal because we're going to the side. It's gonna go right underneath that first pony. We're gonna use some styling paste by Air. Prior to doing so, just to calm any of those flyaways away. This is a lightweight hold paste. It's actually infused with Moonstone, which is super cool. Just gonna go ahead and apply it and over direct it this way. Now we're gonna hold on to each hair elastic and pinch and pull the section up. Just for an erratic texture here and a little bit of volume that's going to help spring up some of our curls. All right, so now we're going to create our bubbles. Starting with the section on the left, we're just going to do a hair elastic a couple inches down from that first one. We're going to do the same thing with all of our ponies back here. So now we're gonna take some texture air. This is a dry texturizing spray. We're gonna spray these little pieces here, these little sections, and then we're gonna create our bubbles. So all we're gonna do is simply just pull the hair out and create kind of a big bubble. So I'm holding onto the hair elastic and then just pulling the hair through. So now that we have all of our little bubble braids here, we're just gonna simply create a little updo by rolling it kind of around each other and pinning into place. This is a great way to keep the hair all together and then it almost creates a little like ripple effect with the bubbles in there. So the first one we're gonna focus on is actually where we're gonna have the whole updo be and that's on that left side. So I'm firmly pressing against the scalp here with my thumb. I'm gonna take our bobby pin and simply just pin it into place. What I like to do is I like to take the lip of the bobby pin and then grab onto some hair, see, and flip it around going towards the ponytail. So now we're gonna take our second one and wrap it around so you can see this updo, not updo kind of forming here. Again, 
pinning into place. I like to go left to right. I'm pinning near the hair elastics. So now this last one, I'm gonna pull it over here, nape of the neck, and see where the hair elastic is. I'm gonna pin that into place. Ashley has pretty thick hair, so I'm gonna do two just to make sure. And then we're gonna take this last one and just kind of pin where we need to kind of fill in any gaps here. This is just a really easy way to get the hair up and have it stay in place because it's in those little bubble ponies. So for this last one, I'm gonna fan it out. And we're gonna tuck in those pieces here and take the bobby pin from underneath and pin it into place. And then fan out some of that hair. Okay, so now moving on, we're just gonna pinch and pull for a little volume here before we release the top section. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the last section here. I'm gonna use some flexible hold air spray. We'll spray this section. It's a really lightweight hairspray, and the more you use, the harder it becomes, so it's really nice. Spray that, tame any of those flyaways. Then we're gonna brush it out, and then take the end of a tail comb and kind of fold it slightly twist it and then pin it up here. So I'm gonna pin it with the bobby pin here and then just push it in. Pull that down a little bit. Now we're just gonna form it where we want it. I'm gonna spread this hair out using the flexible hold hairspray. We're gonna gather it here. Just a slight twist and then push it into our updo. Now we're gonna finish it off with some spray shine to tame any of those unwanted flyaways. The shine spray is by Air Professional. And that is about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you guys soon.